hello Sagittarius welcome back I hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node guys please remember to click and switch the roles I could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay so let's see what's coming out for you guys Sagittarius let's see Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius clear messages for my lovely Saggies what's going on what do they need to know at this time okay bottom of the deck we have mother okay so we have mother and then wife came out in aquarius is reading and also um aries so maybe you guys are connecting in some type of way so a mother energy is significant here i'm getting like that could be the empress energy too okay so something about a mother someone here could be pregnant or maybe you guys need some motherly support okay but mother energy is like the feminine energy energy they're very nurturing compassionate that sounds like the empress could be dealing with the taurus or libra what else you could be a mother or this is about your own mother okay three wants to come out that's fine so we have letter yeah this came out in aquarius but it came out in reverse so there's something coming in there could be something coming in about some children or there's communication coming in towards you here Okay, friend. Bottom of the deck cage. Feeling trapped or in prison. Yeah, this is kind of like giving me the same energy of like Aquarius and Aries. Somebody's finding out a child is not theirs or they're lying about children or something like that. Some of you guys could be getting a, a court, something going on in court where you're getting something, maybe DNA test results or something. This could be somebody that you were friends with for a long time or you grew up with. They were your lover. They were your friend. You trusted them, but they cheated on you. They're lying and they're lying about kids being yours or something. That could be for somebody. I, I'm just connecting the story because it's coming out and everybody's fucking reading. <laughs> okay. Um, for some of you, th there's somebody here or you you are this mother energy or you're very motherly to somebody that finds you to be very nurturing. You have that, that feel to you here, the Empress energy. This is somebody here from your past that wants to communicate with you. Okay, there's some incoming news about something here. This is somebody here that you could have past lives with, okay? But there's something about children that keeps coming out in, in y'all's readings. But there, let's see what this is. Clarify this energy here for Sag. Clarify this energy here for Sagittarius spirit. What's going on with this energy? Someone that you're friends friends with could be reaching out to you about whatever this is. Somebody could have been abusing children too, keeping them locked up or putting them away or not really like neglect. Somebody here could be neglectful. Okay, nine of swords. So somebody here is in their head. You could be dealing with an air sign. I feel like somebody is like depressed. They're 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 losing sleep here. You guys could be getting messages through your dreams. There's an angel here watching over you. Okay. The color blue could be significant, but definitely a lot of I don't know, a lot of being stuck in your head or or this is somebody else. But what else is going on here for Sage? What is that noise? That shit is annoying. Could be dealing with the Virgo, with the Hermit, Aries. Yep, Aries coming out in your reading. So go watch Aries reading. Didn't do Virgos yet, but we're going to see because a lot of this shit is connecting here. Um, But yeah, somebody's in Hermit mode. I feel like somebody's in solitude right now trying to gain some introspection or shed some light on something that's going on here. Okay, you could be wisening up about something or, or this is somebody else. Somebody could be needing to see a doctor for mental help here. Somebody could j definitely be trying to heal, but they're having a hard time doing so. Okay, this could be somebody also that ghosted you, but I feel like they ghosted you to find something out about themselves and what they're dealing with. This person had to heal from something. Okay, this could be a father figure you're dealing with, or you could be the father figure here, but there is a father energy with the mother energy now. Okay, and this could be somebody that, that, that owns a business. Um, somebody here could play football too. Somebody here could be a football player or they play football or something like that. But the Emperor Upright is somebody that's like, um, 
It's all about structure, stability. Okay, um, this could be a divine masculine energy I'm pulling in. What what else first, uh, Sagittarius? Some of you guys could be a leader, a provider, a protector, or this is who you're dealing with, or this is your story about your person. Okay, they could be dealing with this, whatever this is. What else for, for Sagittarius? Okay, two of wands. So making plans here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's just trying to make plans or um somebody here could be trying to travel towards you, but I feel like they're scared or they're nervous. Or somebody's overthinking something. What else for such? Some of you guys could be saying nine nine. Okay, yeah, the world and the high priestess. So a cycle here is closing out. Nine of cuts at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, go watch Aquarius's reading too. So um, you could be dealing with the Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Aries is here, Virgo. Um, so the high priest with the high priestess being here. Yeah, somebody's 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 becoming more wise. They're growing up here. Somebody's now in their divine masculine energy, or they're stepping into their divine masculine energy. The divine masculine, the emperor here takes action. They're a leader. They're a provider. They're a protector. Okay, this person could have kids, or you could have kids with this person, or something like that. But somebody is definitely going through a spiritual awakening because obviously there's a cycle here that needs to be closed out, and I feel like it's closing. Okay. Just like I got in Aquarius's reading, there could be a grandmother figure or a mother figure or somebody here that's watching over you, that's guiding you here. Somebody here that passed away. But but you successfully completed a cycle. And I feel like now somebody's is intuition is like um you guys could be this high priestess here is what I'm picking up. You guys could um be a tarot reader. Or something like that. You're guiding this person or you've been helping this person out. You're this person's friend, possibly. Or something like that. Um, I feel like this emperor's intuition is, is... They're gaining clarity through their intuition now. Maybe they were experiencing a blockage or something like that. But I feel like they're wisening up or they're maturing here. This person could be hiding something from you as well. But I feel like you know something or they know something about a situation. Okay. If you're this high priestess, I feel like this person here is desiring you. They find you to be very attractive. Okay, with the high priestess. Hmm. What else is, uh, what's this nine of swords right here for Sag? What's this nine of swords? For Sagittarius. Okay, King of Wands. So King of Wands energy, fire sign, arrow. This is you. So yeah, some of you guys could be getting ready to take action on something, or there's something that you want to do that's making you nervous, or this is them. Who's this King of Wands? Okay, yeah, Ace of Wands. So for some of you, this is a project here that you want to start. Some of you guys are trying to start your own business. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's something here that you're passionate about that you want to do that you're nervous about. I feel like you're losing sleep or this person is losing sleep. But somebody here is taking action. Ace of Wands, King of Wands is somebody that's going to take action and so is the Emperor. Okay, they don't sit on their ass and not do anything about whatever the situation is that's going on. <clears throat> They're going to take action. Some of you guys, this person can live at a distance from you. They're traveling towards you or something. But there's a passionate new beginning here that's happening. Somebody's inspired to do something, inspired to move forward. Yes, they're nervous, but I feel like you know they're going to take action and do it anyways so a new beginning is coming this person got fire in their chart like you or something but what's this hermit this is somebody that's very passionate about you i feel like somebody's sexually depressed too like they're sexually frustrated or something somebody's not getting no action what's the hermit or oh, this is you Okay, the temperance in reverse. What's the hermit with the temperance? Yeah, somebody needed to gain balance. That's you, Sagittarius. So this person can have Sagittarius in their chart, or this is you. But somebody is unbalanced or unstable here. I feel like somebody has been hasty. I feel like they're learning how to gain, 
how to do things in moderation and be patient and, and understand divine timing. What else for, what's this temperance in reverse with the hermit? Yeah, the magician. So there's something here that you've been trying to manifest, or this is your person trying to manifest you here, your nine of swords. There's something that someone's been trying to manifest, but it's not been the right the right time. Somebody here has been impatient or whatever, been trying to rush the journey. You can't rush divine timing, especially if this is a specific journey. Okay, somebody here could definitely be going to like a, a counselor or a therapist or something like that to heal some type of overindulging. Somebody has overindulging, had ten, has tendencies to overindulge in certain things. I don't know if it's drinking, smoking or whatever, but th this could be overindulgence that somebody's getting counseling for so they can balance themselves out because I feel like somebody's been trying to manifest but they've been imbalanced themselves and it has not been working. Yeah, somebody's been trying to manifest you but it's not been the right timing or whatever. They have to rediscover themselves or discover something else that's going on in their own world or this is you. What's the emperor? Yeah, somebody needed to regain control. You could be dealing with the Virgo, Gemini. What's the emperor? Somebody had to regain control of their own life and their own. They were not balanced. Their masculine and feminine energies were not balanced, maybe. So they could become this divine masculine, especially if they're a man, an actual male. What's the emperor? Okay, nine of wands. This person, yeah, this person could have been very guarded at four of four pentacles. They could have been very guarded. Okay, someone here could have had money issues nine of wands i feel like this person had a problem uh they were very i, I don't know this person had to heal though because they were like the wounded warrior or something like that and i feel like they've been guarding themselves but now they want to drop their guards what's this nine of wands in reverse in the emperor this is somebody here that probably wouldn't compromise with you in the past yeah page of cups yeah they want to come in and apologize they could have kids or you could have kids with this person but somebody here wants to send you a message. They want to drop their guards and guards and tell you how they feel about you and apologize for something that they've done or for shutting you out or closing you out here. I feel like their intuition is... You guys could be telepathically communicating. I was getting ready to say that this could be a very spiritual connection you have with this person. But definitely some communication coming in with the Page of Cups. This person is in their emperor energy. Okay. And I feel like they're going to come in small. They have a problem expressing themselves. That's the issue. So what, what's this? Um, somebody's intuition is now, I feel like somebody's getting a ton of downloads now because they've been broken free from something or they're breaking free from something. Someone took their power back from a situation. What's this two of wands right here for Sag? Okay, yeah, 10 of cups. So yeah, somebody, this person sees you in their future. They see you as their ten of cups. They want to build a family with you. They want to partner up with you here. This could be a partnership coming in, but somebody's coming towards is going towards their happiness here. They're not. They see you as their ten of cups. They want this family with you, this happiness, this happy family, happy life, all that. What's the uh, ten of cups with the two of wands? So they're planning. They're making preparations. Yeah, ten of swords. There's something here that's over. Okay, there's some type of betrayal that happened. What's this ten of swords right here? Okay, yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. So someone here could be having, could have had financial issues. Yeah, five of cups, five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody here could have had hard, could have just been going through a hard time. I feel like somebody had a hard life. This person here wants to take you out of the cold. They don't want you to be left out in the cold anymore. This person could have abandoned you or made you feel neglected because they had their own abandonment issues. I feel like both of y'all had the same issues and they just, they were a little bit more harsh with theirs. Okay, but they were not balanced. This person did not, they didn't know any better. If they knew better, they would have done better, I feel like. <laughs> but Five of Pentacles in Reverse is the ending of hardships here. Something is over. There was some type of harsh betrayal. Could have been in a family situation, maybe theirs or yours. Flip the roles. But definitely something is over. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. And, you know, with the everything is fine on this card, they've been pretending like everything is okay. They've been happy, yada, yada, yada. No, they have not. They needed to go through this healing process in order to be there in their divine masculine energy. Whatever these plans you have also, Sagittarius is going to set you up for life. I feel like this is going to be very emotionally fulfilling. And if you are having money issues, you are coming out of the, having those, going through those hardships. Just period. 
So what is this world right here for Sag? What's the world? Okay, King of Swords came out sideways. So yeah, I feel like somebody has been having trouble with opening up or telling the complete truth. I feel like somebody has been telling half truths about something. For some of you, this King of Swords is representing um, a judge, a lawyer, a court situation that could be going on here. The authorities had to get involved in something. Okay, something could be going on, could be making the news or it's going to be... I don't know. Something crazy could happen to somebody. But um, there's a cycle here that's definitely closing out. And I feel like with the help of the authorities or with the help of some type of a court situation or something like that. Um, this person, I feel like um, somebody here has set boundaries, has taken back control of their life here with the King of Swords. Somebody is standing in their true authentic selves. Whether they're air sign or not, you know, this person can have air sign traits, which is like detachment, feeling like... Um, they could have a problem expressing themselves. They're more logical than they are than they are emotional. Okay, so they've probably been in their head about something, or this is you. But I do feel like there's an, a cycle closing out. It could be with an air sign, a cycle that's closing out. Somebody here has been very cold towards you, so you could be going towards somebody new. You could be a little bit nervous about going towards someone new. What's this King of Swords with the world? King of Swords with the world spirit. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So there's a new cycle here that's happening. This person can have air and fire in their chart. Yeah, in their big three somewhere, you could. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords, somebody is very much so masculine. That's why I feel like it's, it's an actual man that's going through this here that has maybe sad in their chart or something like that. It's connecting in some way. It could be an Aquarius. Go watch Aquarius's reading. But a cycle is closing out. For some of you, this is a court situation about a her inheritance money or a big lump sum of money that's coming towards you that's being paid through the court system, the legal system, or whatever. Okay. But there's a cycle here that's closing out. There's a celebration. There's a, there's a completion here that's happening. You successfully closed something out and now something is yours. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is yours or is owed to you or something like that. Okay, I feel like someone here wants to start a family with you as well. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. There's a big lump sum of money coming in as well. Yeah, wish fulfillment, four of wands, a happiness, celebration, rejoicing. Okay, there's communication that's been delayed. I feel like it's coming in towards you that's going to make you very happy. You guys could be reuniting with somebody. But somebody here wants to communicate with you. I feel like this person could have been a player or they had player ways. This person could have uh, made you feel confused. Or manipulated you in some type of way but i feel like now they want to bring justice because the page of souls upright is somebody that doesn't like injustice so i feel like this person is just immature in their communication in their ways or they have been but now they want to fight for the connection or they want to bring in just i mean they want to bring justice to whatever was unjust in the connection here they see you as somebody that's long-term stability they want to build something with you this person wants to build a home with you they want to build a family with you they want to get they see you as marriage material Okay, um, some of you guys could be looking for a home. I feel like you're going to get it. Your dream home, you're going to get it here. Somebody has been wishing for stability all their life. I feel like somebody's whole life has been unstable or they've been with unstable family members or something like that. They never really had their own stability. So I feel like somebody here is, is gaining stability and taking back control of their life, which is beautiful energy. I, I like that. I really do. But Ten of Pentacles is coming in. There's a new cycle with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Whether this is money or family, a commitment, marriage. Yeah. Somebody here wants to run away and elope. Somebody wants to definitely take you to the fucking, um, what you call them shits? I forgot what you do there, but yeah. What's the High Priestess? Could be dealing with the Pisces. What's the High Priestess? Okay, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. What's the High Priestess with the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, three of wands. So definitely some movement. For some of you, um, there's something that you're trying to keep secret. You don't want other people to know about this. It could be this money that's coming in. You're waiting for something. You're trying to have patience for something. And really, you know, as you go along here, use your intuition. Some of you guys need to um, reassess what you're signing or you're investing into here. Use your intuition and really read over the fine print if you're needing to take a second look at something or review something with the Seven of Pentacles. But I do feel like with the Three of Wands, there's travel. Some of you guys could be moving far away or you're 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 moving, okay, and you're needing to invest or look at this home. You, some of you guys could be traveling if you're moving far to look at a home, okay. You want to make sure this is the right place. 
you want to get a feel of where you're going to be at get a feel of the people the environment that's using your intuition okay some of you guys are moving in secret you don't want people to know what you're doing rightfully so whatever you're planning whatever you want to invest in you plan for it and now you're taking action three of wands two of wands was back here you had to get out of something or do something and now the three of wands is you traveling and moving forward waiting for your ships to come in you could be waiting for something what's this three of wands seven of pentacles this person could be traveling towards you yeah you're waiting for something to close out scorpio energy yes yeah, so you could be set free the fool aries aquarius energy you're trying to wait for whatever this is to close out so you can move forward and move on okay yeah and this is the secret here this is what somebody has to tell you about whatever this is that they're going through or this is you some of you guys could have been waiting on this whatever you've been waiting on i feel like i feel like you feel something approaching you feel something coming you guys could be going through a transformation as well cleansing your energy purifying your your space your aura okay but definitely something is closing out or something has ended i feel like somebody here wants to start something with you but they don't know if it's the right thing because things have ended between you and this person they don't know if they're making the right decision okay so they're probably waiting on your ass to say something i feel like you're not <laughs> just period but what else for sagittarius what else do they need to know Okay, it says time to take a breather, pause, hang back and gather yourself. Resting even briefly will allow profound insights to arise and give you the energy you need to make it to the finish line. So that could be what somebody's doing. Just doing a lot of self-evaluating. Okay, but this is a pause right now. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands is definitely waiting energy. Because somebody maybe is going through a transformation or getting themselves prepared for whatever this is. It says enjoy some fun projects creativity make time to play explore and creatively express yourself creativity is an essential ingredient for physical and emotional balance in life okay what else some of you guys can be saying two 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 or 22 some of you guys can be the age 22 21 it says trust universal wisdom let it be there is more to the situation than meets the eye set aside the need to know and to out into control outcome you may be surprised by what happens and then we have create space for dialogue communicate you are being called to either facilitate healing or to heal communication with others reach out and clear the air to listen and to speak your truth yep bottom of the deck commitment so yeah this person i feel like they're trying to make sure this is the right commitment they want to invest and i feel like they do whatever this person transformed and did here they they see you in their future with the three of wands and the two of wands they know what they want to commit they, they want to commit to now because they looked over it plenty of times <laughs> maybe they've been trying to look for the answers here maybe they didn't have all the facts but yeah somebody's been trapped or stuck in their head or trapped somewhere but what's going on for sag what else what is this you bottom of the deck we have phoenix yep rising from the ashes being offered a second chance the end of despair what was lost is being restored so yes that's that rising from the ashes is this death energy so somebody here is definitely rising from something and leaving something behind yeah they're turning their back on something three of wands with the death something is just over and they're taking a long look at it they're like damn <laughs> yeah sad news yeah disappointing message not what you wanted to hear something not going in your favor inconvenient truth so there, there's something here that's coming out that you're not going to be too happy with or too pleased with. Okay, that's why I feel like it's something about some children here as well. Possibly that somebody's not going to be too happy with. It says coldness, absence of love, love life is blocked, frozen in some area of your life, emotions buried deep within. Yeah, bottom of the deck is local travel. You may need local vacation, getting out more, a romantic weekend getaway, having to drive more. Okay, so that all could be happening, but... I feel like this person has received sad news. I don't think it's you, but you guys, this truth that's coming out that this person has to tell you or whatever the fuck, they're going to tell you why they've been cold here, I feel like. Why they haven't been showing love to you here or whatever. Because they've definitely been guarded with the Nine of Wands in reverse. And hiding their emotions, their feelings, or whatever. But So, Sag, this was your reading. I hope you got some clarity. Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on to all so that way you guys can get all of my notifications when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.